Joining me now yeah. live from the border town of Sierra Vista, Arizona, Sheriff Mark Lamb of Pinal County, Arizona. Sheriff, welcome. Sheriff Mark Danels of Cochise Thank County, you, Arizona. Sheriff, welcome. Sheriff Tony Childress of Livingston County, Illinois. Welcome. And Thank Sheriff you, Sam Page of Rockingham County, North Carolina. You are all welcome here, Good. sheriffs, and you're all with the Protect America now, supporting our sheriffs and law enforcement. You've got a big job right now. And you can go to protectamericanow.com for more information, everybody watching when this interview is over, and learn more about what they're facing. But let's get a firsthand account of it. So, Sheriff Lamb, you and I talked as you were pulling this group together about a week or so ago. Tell me what you've learned there at the border and what the public immediately needs to know. I think the biggest thing that we've learned, which is why we have sheriffs here from North Carolina and Illinois, is this is not a border problem just for Arizona or Texas or New Mexico or California. This is an America problem. The fact that these sheriffs came all the way here to help us address this issue shows you the impact that it has on their communities as well. Uh, Sheriff Daniels, I, I want to ask you a direct question about what our reporter was just saying. Uh, Casey Stiegel was talking about putting children in harm's way. And what they're seeing in Texas is they'll just throw them right in the river. And then that distracts agents. I, how difficult is that kind of behavior by the cartels to curtail and, and to fight in this whole process? Well, thank you, Harris. And thanks for having us on. And thanks to my sheriffs for being here. This is the largest humanitarian issue on the southwest border going on right now. When it comes to what the cartels are exploiting these people, these children, and then you look at the public safety aspect of this that's affecting all communities in America. And I'll just say this, Harris, to you. In this region, the Tucson sector of Border Patrol, in this fiscal year, we've had 60,000 mm -hmm. getaways just in this sector of the border. That's the largest in the country. And these are people we've seen on cameras that have got away, that are now in communities. That should be uh, alarming to every American out there. Uh, okay, so that brings us to Sheriff Childress and, and Paige. Uh, Sheriff Childress, I'll come to you first. 60,000 getaways, and they're fanning out all over the country. Again, Sheriff Lamb is right. This isn't just about the border. Good morning, Harris, and thank you uh, for sponsoring us, and uh, thank you to the sheriffs here for having me. Yes, uh, with numbers like 60,000, and numbers like 172,000 uh, coming in, it's absolutely ludicrous that we have an administration that refuses to do anything. And then, uh, you know, last night I understand the State of the Union speech that uh, he put it on Congress, you know, uh, saying that his first day uh, he, uh, he asked them to send him a bill. Well. Uh, you know, we've seen instances where we had a president that didn't uh, wait to uh, wait on Congress to pass a bill. He, he took action mm. himself. And that's what, you know, we expect a leader, a true leader to do, is take action. Uh, we see that we're putting lives at risk, citizens at risk, uh, Border Patrol agents at risk. Uh, it's, it's just a risk for everybody. And then you bring children and throw them in the river and drop them and over the wall, it up. risking them as A well. Level. Yes. Absolutely. Sheriff Page, I'm going to come to you next. I want to show the audience something first. A recent Fox News poll finds that nearly half of people think the border situation is worse than it was two years ago. 56% majority believe Biden, the president, winning the election is completely or mostly behind the surge of migrants at the border. Uh, first of all, Sheriff Page, I, I want to get an idea from you, your top line thoughts in reaction to that, and then I have a quick follow up for you. Okay. Well, first of all, being from North Carolina, I see, I see real now that we have something in common with Arizona, and this is real. We have coyotes like they do, and we have Mexican drug cartels in our communities. Merely two, two days, uh, the violence, the crime, uh, the, the criminal activity uh, are in our communities. And each day across North Carolina, we lose people to heroin and fentanyl or dying in our communities. We know where the product's coming from, but just like we said with the president, Mr. President, come to the border. Mr. President, support the local 
state and federal law enforcement across this community and do something. And also, the cartel, we don't mention them a lot, uh, but I'll tell you this, they're the persons making the money. They're the person capitalizing on the human smuggling, human trafficking, and the crime activity and the drugs that are taking lives every day in America. If we fail to secure our borders, every sheriff in America will become a border sheriff. Wow. Uh, sheriff Flame, I'm going to give the follow-up to you on the numbers that we just showed our audience on how people are looking at this and, and seeing it get worse. And, and while the White House and the Biden administration may not want to call it a crisis across the board, people in America see what's going on. What are your thoughts? Absolutely, they see what's going on. We hear it every day. They're clamoring for our help. I've got community members. I'm 70 miles off the border. They say they can't even leave their kids to watch their younger kids because of the, the, the people coming in their carport trying to open their doors. This is a dangerous situation. We as sheriffs are standing together with Protect America Now. Please check it out at protectamericanow.com. We hear the people's voices. We're going to do our job. They didn't hear what they needed to hear last night from the president. We had, we expected to hear more. We didn't get that from them, and that shows you this presidency doesn't care about what's happening here, but the sheriffs do, and we're going to continue to stand up for the people and for America. You know, I have one final question for you, and I'll come to you, Sheriff Daniels, on this. The morale among law enforcement has been something that I have hit pretty hard during this hour of programming on Fox News. It's important that we have you all doing what you're doing and that you feel supported. I would say equally so for the Border Patrol, which is part of why you're there. You're, you're shoring them up. What are you seeing that they are most dealing with the Border Patrol that you want to jump in and help right away? Well, Harris, that's, that's a good point because the morale, the Border Patrol agents I've spoke to all the way up to senior leadership uh, is challenged right now. There's no doubt about it. Their hands are tied from doing the job they do, and that is to secure this border and uh, keep this country safe. And when you do that, you're going to take the morale away. And I'm telling you, the impact, uh, local law enforcement, state law enforcement, it, it's, it's a collective effort. And I tell you, after last night's uh, speech by the president. It was an insult for everybody wearing a badge that's trying to protect this border. Sheriff Lamb, from left to right here on screen, Sheriff Daniels, Sheriff Childress, and Sheriff Page, thank you so very much. Some of you coming from pretty far away to that border to give us a firsthand look and also help. Thank you for your time, gentlemen. Thank you, Harris. Thank you, thank Harris. You, thank you, Harris. Thank you, America. God bless you, too.